Hi everyone, welcome to Grammar Buzz, Learning Made Easy. This is Margaret and I am here today with yet another video on noun. And today we are going to focus on singular and plural nouns. So what are we waiting for? Let us move on with the lesson objectives for today. The lesson objectives for today are Defining singular and plural nouns, knowing the rules to change singular to plural nouns and identifying the singular and plural form of nouns. So without further delay, let us move on with today's lesson. Take a look at the picture very carefully. What do you see? Perhaps you may have noted a ball, a bucket, a spade, some trees, some boys playing, a starfish and some seashells. Well, all these are naming words or nouns. Nouns are the names of people places, animals and things. Most nouns have two forms, singular and plural. So what are singular nouns? When a noun refers to only one person, animal, place or thing, they are said to be in singular number. Take a look at a few examples. A hat or one hat, a dog or one dog, a rubber tube or one rubber tube. Here we are talking of all the nouns in singular number. Now let us see what are plural nouns. When a noun refers to more than one person, animal, place or thing of the same kind, they are said to be plural in number. Example, hats, dogs, rubber tubes. Here we are referring to more than one hat, more than one dog and more than one rubber tube. There are few basic rules that we need to remember when it comes to turning a singular noun into plural noun. Let us take a look at all these rules one by one and try to understand them. Rule 1. Most singular nouns need an S at the end to become plural. For example, house, houses, cat, cats. Few other examples are ball, balls, horse, horses, bee, bees, boy, boys, week, weeks, window, windows, bottle, bottles. Now let us move on with rule 2. If the singular noun ends in S, double S, sh, ch or x, add es to the end to make it plural. Take a note, all these words make a hissing sound. So in very simple term, words which end in a hissing sound usually form their plurals by adding an es. Take a look at the following example. Bus, buses, glass, Glasses, fox, foxes, few other words are wish, wishes, brush, brushes, church, churches, box, boxes, tax, taxes, lunch, lunches, class, classes. Now that you have understood rule 2, let us move on with rule 3. 
if the singular noun ends in o at es to make it plural for example potato potatoes the singular noun potato ends in o and the plural noun is formed by adding an es after o few other examples are tomato tomatoes hero heroes buffalo buffaloes mango mangoes cargo cargoes echo echoes but there are few exceptions to rule 3 if the singular noun ends in o in some cases we add s to make it plural and not an es examples of such words are photo photos take a note the word photo ends in an o but when we change it to a plural noun we add an s after the o few other examples are piano pianos radio radios halo halos kilo kilos stereo stereos let us move on with rule 4 If the noun ends with f or fe the f is often changed to ve before adding the s to form the plural example wife wives the fe is changed to ve and an s is added after that in order to change the singular noun wife to wives few other examples are leaf leaves calf calves half halves life lives wolf wolves but there are few exceptions to this rule too some words may end in f but while changing them to plural nouns we don't add a ves but we add an s examples of such nouns are chef chefs some other examples roof roofs belief beliefs chief chiefs hoof hoofs proof proofs now that you have followed rule 4 and its exceptions let us move on with rule 5 according to rule 5 if a singular noun ends in y and the letter before the y is a consonant we change the y to ies for example puppy puppies the word puppy ends in a y and the letter before the y is a consonant p so while changing it into plural we change the y to i and add an es few other examples are army armies navy navies body bodies baby babies city cities rule 6 if a singular noun ends in y and the letter before the y is a vowel and not a consonant we simply add an s to make it plural for example monkey monkeys take a note of the word monkey the word monkey ends in a y but the letter before the y is a vowel for that reason we do not change the y to ies but while converting the word singular word monkey to plural noun we add an s few other examples are boy boys toy toys valley valleys ray rays tray trays but there are some nouns that don't change at all when they are pluralized they remain the same for example sheep 
singular form is sheep and the plural form is also sheep we never say sheep and sheeps other such words are deer deer series series species species things to remember take a look at the sentence father caught one fish but i caught four fish here we are using the same word fish for one and also for more than one but you may have heard many a times the word fishes while referring to more than one variety of fish you can use fishes as the plural but in general the plural form of fish is fish only when we talk about more than one variety of fish we can say fishes take a look at another example i started growing fruits in my farm as i like to eat fruit here too always remember the plural form of fruit is fruit but we can say fruits when referring to more than one variety of fruit as a plural form there are some irregular nouns that follow no specific rules we have to learn them by heart in order to memorize them for example one foot two feet one child many children one ox many oxen one tooth many teeth one mouse many mice one woman many women one goose many geese a man many men a person and many people there are some nouns that only have the plural form they do not have any singular form take a look at such examples scissors goggles even when you have one you say scissors and even when you have more than one you refer to scissors we never say scissor same goes for goggles some other examples are pants jeans skirts clothes trousers shorts tongs earrings leftovers let us take a quick recap on what we have learned today nouns can be both singular or plural singular nouns refer to only one person place animal or thing plural nouns refer to more than one person place animal or thing irregular nouns follow no specific rule now that you have followed all the rules of converting nouns from singular to plural let us practice a few of them fill in the blanks with either the singular or plural forms of nouns given in the bracket there are some dash orange in the basket the train has many wheel every stories in this book has a lot of pictures All the houses in these streets are beautiful. Only one teams can win the World Cup. The zoo has some rare animal and bird. Pause the video to complete the exercise and then get back to check the answers. Let's check the answers together. There are some oranges in the basket the train has many wheels every story in this book has a lot of 
pictures all the houses in this street are beautiful only one team can win the world cup the zoo has some rare animals and birds well done now let us move on with another exercise correct the mistakes in the following sentence i saw three big oxes near the cliffs there are many leaves under the dead tree women's usually live longer than men's mac the farmer has three sheep and four cows on his farm the little calves lost its baby toots pause the video to complete the exercise and then get back to check the answers let's check i saw three big oxes near the cliffs the mistaken words are oxes and cliffs the answer should be i saw three big oxen near the cliffs and the spelling of cliffs is c l i f f s there are many leaves under the dead tree the mistaken word is leaves the answer should be there are many leaves under the dead tree and the word leaves should be spelled with a v e s women's usually live longer than men's mistaken words are women's and man's it should be women usually live longer than men mac the farmer has 3 sheep and 4 cows on his farm the mistaken word here is sheep it should be mac the farmer has 3 sheep and 4 cows on his farm the little calves lost its baby toots the mistaken word here is calves and toots it should be the little calf lost its baby tooth well done hope you enjoyed learning with me because i sure did don't forget to like subscribe and press the bell icon until we meet the next time stay safe